Hey yo everyone, we have more incredible deals to check out for the Nintendo Switch. Today we're going through some great games under $2, and even if you picked up every game, it still would only be a fraction of what you would spend on one AAA game. The indie devs are the true wizards behind the curtain, in my opinion, and so I enjoy having the opportunity to cover the best deals and bring them to you all every week. Thanks as always for being here. Please leave a like if you have a good time, subscribe if you're new, and we'll go ahead and dive in. Stay safe, my friends. Another World is a single-player retro-inspired action platformer with a small download around 200 megabytes, and the story should last roughly two to three hours to wrap up. In this one, we follow a scientist through a cool sci-fi setting with an interesting story, and with this version, they made some enhancements to the gameplay and the audio design as well, and right now you can pick it up on sale for just $1.99, mark down 80%, bring it to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 31st. Next, we have Atone Heart of the Elder Tree, which is a single-player action RPG that offers a roughly 5-10 to 10 hour story, and the download comes in at about 3.7 gigs. Now, this game was inspired by Nordic mythology, and it gives you branching paths based on your decisions during the story. It is a bit text-heavy, so be prepared for that. Now, where the game sets itself apart, though, is in the combat system, which plays out like a rhythm-style minigame instead of active or turn-based combat that you would typically find. If you're interested in this one, make sure to grab it up before the deal ends on the 23rd. It's currently marked down nearly 90% and matching an all-time low at just $1.99. BotVice is an incredibly difficult gallery shooter here on the console. It has a download around 170 megabytes and offers roughly 5 to 10 hours of gameplay. The graphics and controls are both great and you have a few different weapon upgrades that you'll acquire while playing through each of the levels. They can give you a bit more of an advantage, but for the most part, you're always outnumbered and dodging enemies both melee and ranged until you reach a boss at the end of the stage. Now, if you feel the game is just a bit too difficult, they do have a rookie mode, and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, mark down 80% and matching an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 25th. The Blind Prophet is a single-player point-and-click adventure game from Red Deer Games. It has a download around 1.6 gigs and gives players a dark story depicted through a unique comic book art style. We play as an apostle on a quest to eradicate all of the evil from our city. You'll have to search for clues as you play through, and there are quite a few puzzles and mini-games that you'll have to complete as well. If you enjoy a good story-driven game, definitely check this one out before the deal ends on the 23rd. It's on sale for just $1.99 and marked down more than 90%. Up next, we have Blood Will Be Spilled, which is a strategic 2D platform adventure game from Atu Games. The story should take roughly five to seven hours to complete, and it follows a bounty hunter named Jack as he sets out on a path of revenge. The game is voice acted, and they all do a pretty good job. As for the combat, it's turn-based, and as I mentioned, it will require some strategy, as again, you're usually outnumbered. Right now, you can pick it up for just $1.99, mark down nearly 90%, and the deal ends on the 29th. You need about 2 gigs for the install. Sekinoid is a retro-style arcade shooter with a unique graphical design. It offers more than 50 levels, multiple control schemes, cool power-ups, and it even includes an entire bonus game called Yugatron, which nearly doubles the playtime, making this an amazing value for fans of the genre. Now, I happen to enjoy twin-stick shooters, so this was a great deal for me. Plus, the soundtrack is amazing as well. Again, this game is a great value, and right now it's on sale for just $1.99. Mark down 90% until the 29th, and the download is under 100 megabytes. Next, we have Dicey Dungeons, which is a strangely addictive game and definitely a hidden gem in my opinion. What you have is a deck-building roguelike dungeon crawler with a ton of content on offer. You have multiple characters, several different dungeons broken into parts, and it's all done as part of a game show that's being hosted by Lady Luck. Now, it is another incredibly tough game, but right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, mark down 87% and matching an all-time low until the 1st of November. Up next, we have Freaky Trip, which is a new release here on the console. It's a single-player point-and-click adventure title, again from Red Deer Games. As you play through, you'll have to solve a ton of logic-based puzzles and, of course, talk with a bunch of strange characters. Right now, it's on sale for just $1.99, already marked down nearly 90%, and the deal ends on the 26th. The download is just under 7 gigs, so you'll want to make sure you have room for that, of course. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams The Ultimate Edition is a single-player side-scrolling platformer with a download around 1.3 gigs. 
and it gives you more than 45 levels to work through. It should take roughly 5 to 10 hours depending on what difficulty you put it on and of course your skill level coming in. Now this one features a pretty cool two character mechanic where you have the two sisters and you can swap between them with just pushing a button. Doing so will alter the world around you and change the music and each sister has a unique ability that you'll need to solve a puzzle or to get through the levels. There are also collectibles and bonus unlockables as well and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99 matching an all time low and the deal ends on the 31st. Hammer Kid is a single player action platformer with a download around 125 megabytes and again it offers more than 40 different levels across 4 different environments and it should take roughly 4 to 5 hours to wrap up. The basic gameplay loop revolves around you making your way from point A to point B while collecting gems and acquiring your weapon in order to upgrade your main attack. When you start off you just have a short range attack but you will find your hammer quickly and if you die or take damage you'll lose it and have to find another one. Now again I have to mention that this is an incredibly difficult game but if you're up for the challenge you can pick it up for just $1.99, mark down 80% and the deal ends again on the 31st. Up next we have Hunter's Legacy The Perfect Edition and look I know the title is weird but this is a pretty fun little metroidvania where we play as a ninja cat carrying two deadly blades, a bow and some magical spells you'll have to work through the story and save the kingdom. This is an updated version with redesigned levels, all new animations, and the inclusion of a minimap, which helps out a ton. On top of that, this version includes a new game plus mode as well for more replay value once you've completed the roughly 8 hour story. Now I'm not sure I'd say it's perfect, but it's currently on sale for just $1.99, marked down 72% with the deal ending on the 31st, you'll need a little over 400 megabytes for the install. John Wick Hex is a unique turn-based strategy game featuring the deadly assassin himself. It has a download around 1.3 gigs and offers a little over 10 hours of gameplay on average. Now while it may not be all out action like the films, it does a good job of making you feel like a deadly killing machine. The movement is tile based and the gameplay is a mix of strategy and real time combat with a bit of luck sometimes required as RNG plays a factor at times during the story. If you are interested though, John Wick Hex is on sale for just $1.99, mark down 90% and the deal ends on the 24th. Lost Castle is a multiplayer focused indie roguelike from Hunter Studios. It has a download just under 1 gig and offers a ton of replay value with both local and online options for up to 4 players at one time. The dungeons are randomly generated and they offer more than 100 different weapons and 50 different armor sets that you can find as you work through them as well. The boss battles are of course the highlight for me and the game is incredibly tough but it's well worth the sale price at just $1.99. Right now you can pick it up with an 80% discount and the deal ends on the 22nd. Up next we have My Big Sister which is a single player top down RPG with a great pixel art aesthetic and an all original soundtrack which both do a great job of complementing one another and creating a creepy and unsettling atmosphere. It's a story that follows two sisters as they attempt to escape after being kidnapped and it even has multiple endings based on your choices that you make along the way. If you're interested in this one make sure to grab it up while it's on sale for just $1.99. It's marked down 67% and matching an all time low with the deal ending on the 1st of November. Radio Squid is a retro inspired platformer with a unique gameplay twist in that you shoot your enemies to the beat of the music. You can also ricochet bullets off of the walls as well and the game offers more than 20 different levels and they let you switch between several different color palettes for those that find the default a bit too hard on the eyes or just want to change it up. It also features a great chiptune soundtrack and right now it's on sale for just $1.99. The deal ends on the 25th and you'll need a little over 200 megabytes for the install. The Sharpshooter Bundle is a package of two games. You'll get the Arcade Shooter Sniper Hunter Scope with all of the DLC. Now this is a ton of fun and it has motion controls which is a huge plus for me as I'm pretty terrible with thumbstick aiming. In addition you also get Knights and Guns which is a vertical shooter with local co-op similar to something like Bug Butcher if you ever played that one. Now these games alone are worth more than the asking price and the package has about a 5.5 gig download. Right now you can pick it up though for just $1.99 which is a steal of a deal and it ends on the 5th of November. Tamashi is a single player puzzle platformer with a vague and strange story that even has a bit of horror elements sprinkled in as well. 
The unique feature to this game is your ability to lay down clones of yourself, which you'll need to do in order to navigate the levels and solve puzzles. It's a really cool mechanic, but it does take a little bit of time to get a handle on. Once you do though, it's pretty cool. Oh, and the boss battles were incredibly creepy and a lot of fun as well. Now the story should last about 3 hours and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, marked down 83% with the deal ending again on the 31st. This War of Mine The Complete Edition is a single player 2D strategy game from 11-bit studios. It has a download around 4 gigs and the main campaign should last more than 15 hours to wrap up. In this moment we play as a group of civilians trying to survive in the midst of a war raging on around us. It has a day and night cycle tied directly to the gameplay. Basically you're trapped inside during the day, that's when you'll do all the building and management type stuff. Then at night you can send out survivors to do different missions or scavenge for supplies. The bundle includes the base game and all of the DLC, plus you get all of the enhancements that were made as well, making this an excellent value and it's currently on sale for just $1.99, marked down 95% with the deal ending on the 1st of November. Up next we have Rive, which is a cool retro themed first person shooter, this time from a small developer with a more arcade feel. There are three different zones and three different weapons to play around with, and tons of different enemies to take out. It's a wave based shooter set in an alternate version of Thailand in the 1970s, and of course there are online leaderboards, so you can show off how good you are. Right now this indie FPS is on sale for just $1.99, marked down 80% to a new low and the deal ends on the 2nd of November. Weppo The Definitive Edition is a puzzle platformer that was created by a team of two indie devs with a passion for gaming. It offers local co-op for two players and has a download around 510 megabytes. The game features an all-original soundtrack and gorgeous hand-drawn art and animations, plus the level design and puzzles work well together. In fact, the game was way more fun than I expected at first, and right now it's on sale for just $1.99, marked down 87% with the deal ending again on the 23rd. Alright everyone, here are a few other games to check out while you're already on the eShop. Darkness has taken hold, and only you can unravel the secrets of the past and save the world from an ancient evil. Battle Street. Alright everyone, that wraps up the video. Thanks as always for hanging out. A special thank you to the channel members and the patrons. If you missed our last video, we covered great deals under $5.00 and I'll have that link down below, along with a few other videos you can check out if you had a good time on this one. Take care everyone, and yeah, I think that was a good talk.